Carousel ads can be super effective for showcasing several products and services and bringing in new customers. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a proper carousel ad for your local business so you can start to generate more leads this week. If you're new here, my name is Armando and I do internet marketing for local businesses so that they can get more leads and sales. And if that's something you're interested in, subscribe so you don't miss any of the other training videos. As usual, our starting point is the Facebook Ads Manager. This is where we're going to be setting up our campaigns and our ads. Before I get started, I want to tell you that this video is broken down into two sections. Section number one is where I show you how to properly set up a carousel ad. And section number two is where I show you what happens afterwards, how we handle all the leads that come in so that you can close more of those leads into paying customers. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is click on this green create button. This is actually going to open up the new Facebook ODAX interface, and this is where you're going to set up your objective. Not every objective or placement supports carousels, so if you want more information on which objectives support the carousels, you can check out Facebook's Business Center where they give you a list of objectives and placements for carousels. For the sake of this training, we are going to be setting up a carousel for a local business, and I'm going to be demoing a carousel ad for a local pool company here in Houston. So what you want to do is click on the lead objective. Once you do that, Facebook now has built the campaign structure, the ad set, and the ad structure for you. The very first thing that you're going to adjust on the campaign campaign side is the actual campaign name. Make sure that this is something that makes sense to you. Once you've done that, scroll down to the section that says advanced campaign budget and we want to go ahead and shut that off. Next, you're going to click on the new lead ad set. This is where you'll be setting up your budget, placement, and demographic. Scroll down to the section that says conversion and what you want to select from here is instant forms. Next, you're going to want to verify that the Facebook page that you want to run your ads from is actually selected here. And if this is the first time you're running ads, you're going to have to accept Facebook's terms of service. Once you do that, scroll down to the section that says budget and schedule. And this is where we're going to plug in our daily budget for your ads. Now your budget is your budget, whatever you choose to plug in here, go ahead and do so. And then scroll down to the audience section where we're going to set up targeting and a few other demographic details. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that most small business owners make is actually boosting a post without targeting. And this is going to lead to burned budget. It's going to lead to comments, clicks, and conversations with people who are not actually even within your area. So do not act, do not promote this to the entire United States. So click on the actual location and enter the service area that you want to target. Once you do that, scroll down to the age and gender uh, section here, and you'll want to adjust this accordingly. Typically, your 18 year old are not going to be your ideal target market. So make sure that you adjust this based on who is previously buying your product or services. The next thing that you're going to adjust here is placement. You're given two options, manual placements and automatic placements. Now, before I dive into this, I do wanna tell you that if you're watching this and you're a local business that needs to generate more leads and you want a simple way to do this, I have a mini workshop. You can find that with the link in the description of this video where I cover in detail how to set up one simple lead generation ad that's gonna bring in an additional 10 extra leads this week. I cover how to set up targeting how to actually write an offer that sells and i even give you all the automation so that you can follow up with these people automatically now as far as placements goes i typically like to do manual placements and i have more control over where my ad is going to show for example if you do not have an instagram account tied to this you can uncheck instagram and i have to worry about burning budget on those placements that aren't going to convert for you once you adjust your placements here, the next step is to actually click on a new lead ad, and this is where we're going to be constructing our ad. You're going to scroll down to the section that says ad setup, and you're going to have a couple of options here. The option that we're going to be choosing is carousel. So you're going to select that. And once you do that, you'll notice that under ad creative, Facebook actually has created three empty carousel cards. From here, we're going to go ahead and edit each one of these cards, and then we're going to add a fourth card that is going to include a video. So our ad is going to be a combination of videos and images. In order to edit the first card, you're going to click this pencil icon that's right next to it. Once you do that, you'll have a couple of options in here. One of those options is to select the media type. This is the image that's going to show on the actual carousel card. So we're going to click image and the media library is going to open up. Now, if you've never run ads before, there's a pretty good chance that this media library is going to be empty. And if you don't have any images in here, you wanna upload them, just simply click this upload button and it's gonna ask you to choose a file from your computer. Now, I've got a few images in here that I want to promote, so I'm gonna click on one and insert that in the first card. 
Next, we want to add a compelling headline and a description to this card. Once you do that, you are going to repeat the same process for the next two cards. So I'm going to walk you through the same process again for the second card, uh, which is clicking the pencil icon, selecting your image, choosing the right image from the media library, clicking continue and filling in your short headline with a description. So now that we have three images, we're going to add an additional card and this is actually going to be a video. So you'll notice that there's a button here that says add media. You're going to click on that and it's going to give you an option to either do a video and or an image. We're going to click on add video and now Facebook is going to add an additional carousel card below our last card that is actually blank and we're going to have to pre-populate this. So click on the pencil icon and you'll notice that you have several options in here, more options than you did with the image. But what you'll want to do is click select video and it's going to open up your media library. And this time you'll get to choose from the videos that you've got uploaded in there. If you don't have a video uploaded, don't worry, just click the upload button and upload the video that you want to promote. So now you should have four cards. One of those cards should be a video. If we want to adjust where the positioning of these cards go, we can click on this cluster of dots here on the left hand side of the image, drag it and drop it anywhere we want. If I move my video to the front of those cards, now my video is going to actually be the very first card in the in the carousel there. The next step is to put our primary text in here. Now this is all about the offer. I do wanna stop here for a second and tell you that the offer is everything. No matter how great your graphics are and no matter how great your videos are, if you don't have a compelling offer, people are not gonna to wanna to click and become leads. So spend some time crafting an offer, think about your customer, think about something that they really want. If you want to dive deeper into offer creation, check out my mini workshop that's linked in the description. I actually cover and give you the framework of creating great offers that convert along with the targeting that you need for your small business. The next thing that you'll want to select is the call to action. Make sure that this matches the thing that you're telling them to do. So if you're telling them to get a quote or to learn more or to sign up, just pick one that corresponds to your actual offer. The next step is to actually create a lead capturing mechanism, a form that people can fill out so that they can give you all their contact details. And to do this, you're going to come to the instant form section and click on create form. The form creation wizard is going to open up. And again, very first thing that you're going to want to do is actually give this a name that makes sense to you you're going to select from either more volume or higher intent this is where you'll select the amount of information that you need from somebody to become a lead typically you're asking for name phone number email zip code maybe a few other questions that can qualify people once you do that you'll come to private policy and it's important to note that you cannot run a facebook ad without a private policy so go ahead into your website and typically what i'll do is i'll copy my private policy link from my website plug it in here and then just click privacy and continue. Lastly, you want to select a message that is sort of the thank you screen. This is where you'll want to tell people what actually happens next in the process. Now, the next step is to publish your ad live and you can do so by clicking this green publish button. It's going to go to Facebook for review. They're going to make sure that you're not breaking any terms of service, uh, that your images and your text is in compliance. And once they approve all that, then your ad will be ready to go. Now I'm going to show you what to do with all the leads that are going to come in through these ads because one of the biggest opportunities for small business owners is the follow-up most local businesses quite frankly aren't very good at the follow-up and rightfully so because you're busy in your business not only running your business but providing the quoting doing the advertising and fulfilling of your job so you could be on a job site and people could come in as leads and you can completely miss those opportunities now I'm gonna walk you through what happens when somebody raises their hand and submits information through the Facebook ad so what you're looking at here is an automatic automation flow. This is triggered uh, basically the first domino falls when somebody raises their hand. Now when they request information on your services, we set up a series of events that happen so that you don't miss out on those opportunities. The goal of this is to respond to these people as fast as possible while the iron is hot. We want to make sure that we get a hold of them. So what we do here is we immediately send a text message to the lead uh, acknowledging that they submitted the information and we want to contact them so we basically ask for them we ask for a little bit more information through text message we also instantly send an email to them um, asking them to contact us via email as well if they don't respond to our text message your team then gets instantly notified either you or your salespeople get an email and they get a text message notification letting you know that we had somebody submit a form and they need to do their due diligence and call these people right away.
We then wait about 10 to 15 minutes, and if the person doesn't respond to the initial text or initial email, we want to put them in a series of follow-up texts and emails and even a voicemail drop that basically leaves a ringless voicemail on their phone saying, hey, this is John with ABC Pool Company. We noticed that you requested information about our services. We just want to follow up with you to see when it's a good time to call. We then put these folks through a series of follow-up sequences. We wait a day and another day until they respond. If they end up responding to the initial text or the initial email, the system will know right away and it will send another message asking them, hey, great, can we put you on the calendar um, so that we can book a time to come out and give you a proper estimate. Now, all this is happening instantly and it's happening behind the scenes for every single lead that comes through. In addition to that, the leads are then added to a live dashboard where you can see the progression and the stages of your leads. If a new lead comes in and they got quoted or they got booked on a calendar, they can easily be moved from one section to the next without you having to go to some Google spreadsheet and lose out on your competitors. The advantage to this is that you're responding to these leads right away. And if you know anything about today's market, you know that people are actually shopping based on response rate. So the person who actually picks up the phone the fastest or gets in contact with these people the fastest is usually going to end up with the one business. If you want to implement something like this for your local business, I actually give you this exact same workflow that I've set up for all my clients inside our local lead mastery workshop. I show you not only how to create the perfect offer, but how to build a simple Facebook ad that is going to bring in leads for your business this week. And I give you all the automations that you need in order to set them up so that you can start to um, close 20 to 30 percent more of that business. If this is something you're interested, go ahead and check it out. If this video was super helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.